Hey guys, Kenneth here and welcome to my movie corner and today I am here to give you my review of the movie DC League of Super Pets. Yes, this movie is directed by Jared Stern and stars The Rock, Kevin Hart, John Krasinski, Kate McKinnon, Olivia Wilde, and Diego Luna and this movie is the big screen debut of Crypto the Super Dog. As you guys know, Superman does have a super pet called Crypto, which is a white dog, and he hasn't been represented that much on screen because, you know, a super dog might be a, be a very silly idea, but since this is a kid's movie, the idea of a super dog can actually work. But I'll say this, um, I wasn't terribly excited to see DC League of Super Pets. From the trailers alone, I knew this was going to be like a straight-up kid's movie, I knew that me as an adult, I wouldn't really love it, but since I have two younger brothers that are like eight and six, I, I, I knew that I would probably want to take them since they probably would enjoy it. And yes, they did, but did I enjoy it? I would say um, it's fine, you know, it's not as horrible as I expected this was going to be, especially from that teaser that had Ace taking a piss, but I could definitely say I've seen better animated movies, especially better DC animated movies like the Lego Batman movie. Now it's nowhere near as bad as Teen Titans Go to the Movies. I know a lot of people love Teen Titans Go to the Movies. I just couldn't stand it, but it's fine. I'm going to be brief with this review. I'm not going to take a lot of your time with this review because when you watch this movie, when you see the trailers, I know there are going to be two people. Some that will watch it and some that will dismiss it as just a crappy kid's movie. And it's fine, like, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. But I would say the biggest takeaway I had with this movie is that it's strictly for kids. It's not like a Pixar movie or a, a, a Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse where both kids and adults can enjoy. This is more in line with a lot of Illumination movies where it's strictly for kids Adults won't hate themselves. It's not like an emoji movie or a Minions where adults will probably want to tear their hair off, their hair out. But me watching it as an adult, it's definitely a movie that if I was a kid, I would love. But as an adult, you know, I could tolerate this movie. The voice acting is really good. I do, I do like The Rock as an actor. And he does have good chemistry with Kevin Hart, you know, since both The Rock and Kevin Hart are very good friends in real life. Um, I did like John Krasinski. You know, it's funny. John Krasinski played both Superman and Mr. Fantastic in the same movie. I mean, in the same year, I was going to say in the same movie. But yeah, it's kind of funny. And yeah, there are entertaining action set pieces, um, especially towards the end. The animation, it's not like groundbreaking. It's, it's not something that will wow you. But it is cute enough, like the animals do look cute, um, it's definitely a lot more cartoonish, it's not as creative as the bad guys, but it's like a standard good looking animated movie. And there are good messages for kids, especially that line where, Crypt where um, Ace says to Crypto like, oh, what's the best thing, what, what, what they say about pets, and then Ace says like, and then Crypto says, like, never feed us chocolate. And then A says, like, love unconditionally, which is a good message about loyalty and everything. But like I said, this has a lot of pretty bad and childish jokes, like a lot of shit jokes, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of spit jokes, a lot of pee jokes, a lot of licking balls joke, a lot of really dumb jokes for kids that only kids will find funny. That doesn't mean that this movie doesn't doesn't have any laughs for the adults. I could definitely say that I laughed some it, at some portions of the movie, but I would say it's fine for kids. If you have kids and you want to take them to see a movie as a fun little like diversion, go ahead. But if you're an adult, I would definitely say watch it on HBO Max. It's nothing special. But it's not terrible. Plus, seeing Keanu Reeves as Batman, probably worth the price of admission alone. So yeah, I am going to give DC League of Super Pets 
a 6 out of 10, you know? It's not great, it's not terrible. Kids will love it, adults will tolerate it. So yeah, those were my thoughts on the movie DC League of Super Pets. Let me know in the comments. Did you like this movie? Did you hate it, this movie? Or here's a question. What is your favorite movie with The Rock and Kevin Hart since they have Central Intelligence, both Jumanji sequels, and this one? I would say I've, I've only seen Central Intelligence out of the three I've mentioned. I, I, I'm still yet to see the Jumanji movies, I know. I heard they're pretty good. But yeah, I would say I do like Central Intelligence. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this, please drop a like and subscribe. Make sure to follow me on my social media. The links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Kenneth out.